Rise and shine, beautiful souls. For me and the beautiful Queen Jamie, we are going to try this Nakato, right? We're gonna try this beautiful place and um, we're gonna let you know what it tastes like, all right? We're gonna let y'all right. see it as we walk in. Mm. I can't wait. It's supposed to be good, good reviews. Rise and shine, beautiful souls. So listen, we're gonna check out this place called Baki Sushi Hibachi. We're gonna try it out, man. We're gonna do a review. Did y'all see the place? What we're gonna do is gonna eat here. We're gonna let you guys know what we think. As you can see, it's not the easiest place to find. Right here we go. See? Sometimes you just gotta. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Let's try it out. live but we are filming it as well so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna let y'all stay here for a little while but just okay peace peace all right so we got our food here we got what is this Jamie Ooh. it's King Liam roll it's vegan King Liam roll all vegan you gonna try it in a minute in a minute yeah okay. I'm gonna wait I don't like eating until my every, every all the food is out. <laughs> you want to make sure it's vegan? Did you get sushi? No, or just me. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Oh, okay, so I can try with you till my food comes out. Okay. Oh yeah, no. No, you it's okay. Try it with me. It's okay. You can try it with me. You want to wait till all the food comes out before we, we, we try to. <sighs> it's okay. What are we filming? <laughs> this food review. Y'all know how to use chopsticks? Show you guys how to use chopsticks. So you take one and you set it on your finger like you're like you drawing, like you're writing. And I use a pencil. Set it right there on your, on your thumb like this. Just let it lay there. No biggie, no big wool. Now, you got these fingers here that you can use to hold it, right? Put it here. Now, all you're gonna do is this finger sits here. Use this one. Thank you very much. Thank you. So you use this finger here and you that's how you use it. So for all of y'all who don't know how to use chopsticks, there you go. So I'm gonna try first. Mm -hmm. Guilty. I'm just vegan. <laughs> so one know. thing. 
one thing about um, vegan, it's like it's very good, but it's very hard to find a really good restaurant. All the rest restaurants that are vegan are normally hole in the walls. Mm. So it is what it is. You ain't gonna find no fancy place. Not around here. But it is what it is. Oh, that's good. Now I got shrimp, family. <laughs> Let y'all see what we got here. Let you see what we cooking with, we working with. So I got seafood, and shrimp, scallops, and uh, salmon. And we got some rice there. Y'all be dipping, y'all just pour it on. Let me know. <laughs> um. Scallops good, shrimp's good. Taisha, it's good. <laughs> Very good. Y'all pour, Mark said he pour his, okay. I try to leave some in there, cause you know, you know what I'm saying, we don't want the food to soak it all up. <laughs> Gotta have something for you to go by, but you can just ask for something too, but. <laughs> Pasta's good too. Everything. Good. So, if you ever find the Baki, mm. go ahead and go there. Yeah. I wonder if it's Baki. Baki. Because hmm. Baki is B A K I. Yeah. But I'm looking at this Baki. And it could be Baki. English words be like that. It'd be uh -huh. C H and it still be spelling like that. Like Bach. Right? But it could be bachi, like short for hibachi. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Are you pescatarian too, Elise? Okay. Let me know, guys. Is it baki or bachi? If it's baki, spell it with a K, so I know what you're saying. Right. As soon as you do, I'm gonna say, "Who are you to correct anybody? You can't even spell it." <laughs> Hi, lady. <laughs> so, just so you guys know, if you see me and Jamie together on Monday or Tuesday, that is the days that we spend time together. Every Monday and Tuesday. Every Monday and Tuesday. Now, Wednesday and th uh, Wednesday, Thursday. Lacey and I spend those days together every time. So if you see us together, you don't have to ask where Jamie is nope. on Monday and Tuesday. You don't have to ask where Lacey is. I mean, you don't have to ask where Jamie is on Wednesday, Thursday, or where Lacey yep. is on Monday, Tuesday. Okay? Like, we do have our together time, but we also need our separate time. That's how the relationship works. Mm -hmm. Like can't be together all the time. <laughs> but on the other days, we we're all together. Absolutely. You have to strengthen those individual relationships. Right. Another thing is, fair don't mean same. A lot of y'all. A lot of y'all. Y'all see me do something with Jamie and then criticize when I do it with Lacey. Um, something different. And you guys will say, oh, that's not fair. You didn't do the same thing for both. Mm -hmm. It'd be pretty lame if I did the same thing for both. Yeah. Just imagine that. I write a card, same card for both. Mm -hmm. Flowers, same flowers for both. Same type of flowers, same color, everything. Mm -hmm. Laid out in the same way. Right. Go to the same place. Stay at the same hotel. That'd be lame. 
instead, yeah. for any people practicing this or going to, if you have multiple partners, instead, ask them what they would like to do. Mm -hmm. This way, they design the afternoon. It's better that way, it's safer that way, it's healthier that way. All right. Because if you take somewhere else, someone else, if you take someone somewhere else, they may think that, you know, you like the other person more, so you just want to take them somewhere special. But mm -hmm. that's their idea. Idea. So, so want to know what you like. Both parties have their own ideas of what they like to do. Yep. You cater to both parties and take them where they like to go. And that's it. Mm -hmm. The other person doesn't look and say, well, I wish I had chose that place, so now I'm going to be mad. No, right. you chose that place. That's right. <laughs> and we had a good time, let's yep. be honest. That's right. And say that to say, what was it? I, uh, one of our first food reviews, mm -hmm. I went to a vegan restaurant. Mm -hmm. And again, I said it's more of a hole in the wall. But that's the place I chose because I love that vegan restaurant. Mm -hmm. It has everything. It's like I can walk in that restaurant, order whatever I want. Mm -hmm. I have a like a special diet. Whereas Kevin and Lacey are pescatarians. So they can go to these beautiful seafood restaurants where I could go, but I can't eat. So it's like, why would I chose to go there? You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Oh, he took Jamie to this little hole in a wall spot. Oh, and he took Lacey to this extravagant looking um, restaurant. You understand? Different diets? Different diets. It would be amazing though. Mm -hmm. If they had really upscale yeah. vegan restaurants around here, that would be dope. I would definitely go. Yep. I said the way everything is changing, there will be. Mm. There will be. And I'll be there. But until then, I'm going to my hole in a wall spots. And then, too, some of y'all understand. Some of us prefer those holes in the wall. Yes. <laughs> For me, yes. they're nothing like a hole in the wall. That's right. Oh, oh God. What about these little poetry slams, these jazz places? Hole in the walls. Some I'd of the be best places ever. Mm -hmm. Nice little music. Nice little ambiance, ambiance. Rice dim, some hookah. Oh, yes. Hole in the wall. Yep. I'd much rather be there. All day, every day. It ain't even got to be a lot of people. I can be in and out. Nobody mm -hmm. know I was there. I don't have to be seen. Mm -hmm. I'm like one person might want to go to the mall. The other person might want to walk in a park. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's Thank okay. You. Thank you. You guys are beautiful. Thank you. Scallops ain't no joke. I'm coming to the top of my. <laughs> and it was her last the end of my run. For those of you who don't know, I gotta eat small amounts of food. So this is like four meals for me, family. Look. Oh, yeah, that's, that's all day. Yeah, that's, four, that's four meals for me. <laughs> Four meals. <clears throat> That's the thing about um, having to have your stomach removed when I had to be when I beat cancer. I survived, but it changed my whole life. I gotta eat small meals. I'm used to that, but when I was a bodybuilder, I ate like six times a day. But this time, every time I eat, I know a few minutes later I might have to deal with some pain. So it's a challenge. So I try to pick the best things and enjoy every bite because I'm not going to get too many. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I had to be that help me, be like, hey, you know, <laughs> you take one more bite, we're going to have a problem later. Like, put it up. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it'd be too good. And I'd be like, I I'll keep eating. I know I shouldn't because mm -hmm. my body don't tell me I'm full. I just kind of got to know. So I got to yeah. eat slow too because, you know, if you eat fast, mm -hmm. By the time by the time your body tells you that you're uh, you've had enough, you are already full because you've eaten past that. Right. They get full state to the point of like stuffing yourself, making your stomach hurt. And that's because you eat so fast, the brain didn't have enough time to let you know you were full. Well, a couple bites let me know that. Um, well, I mean, a couple of a couple of bites gets me there, so I have to take take it slow so I can know. If I don't, I'll have a horrible, horrible stomach ache. Me too, Elizabeth. I said, I'm so happy you're here in deep <laughs> cancer. Thank you, Elizabeth. This is good though. I'm gonna have one more bite, family. Okay? And I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. I might get 
shrimp. Uh, piece of zucchini. Cause this is it for me. And a scallop. It's gonna be it, family. And I have to quit, but it's very good. I'm gonna have to take it. My sushi, if you was here, I'd give you a piece. I promise you. It's very good. Now I say if you if you out there, you think about trying baki or bachi, try it. It ain't mama food from the other day at the event. Shit. I ain't had many meals to match that. So oh, yes. all you have to do is just go look at the live mm -hmm. from a couple days ago. Yeah, we, we did a few food review for her. Mm -hmm. When I tell you that food, jump up, jump up off the plate. You don't even go up to the counter for to put the food on your plate. All you do is hold your empty plate out like this mm -hmm. and it fall down from heaven on your plate. That's, what, that's, <laughs> that's how good it is. That is a brilliant Trust description. Me. It was so good. Call it manna. Manna. Because it falls from heaven, yo. If you don't believe me and you want to try it, go. I'm serious. She's opening a restaurant, too. Amazing food. So good. And I was skeptical because I am so picky. Because ain't nobody want no plain food. <laughs> she did amazing. Everything was just so tasteful. So great. Yeah, if y'all just came on, Jamie had the sushi. Jamie had the sushi. It was, uh, what's that called now? King what? King, King Liam. Liam. King Liam. Mm -hmm. And then I had uh, the seafood combo. And it included um, scallops, shrimp, uh, salmon, smoked salmon, and uh, you know, vegetables. And this was, uh, maybe some zucchini, spaghetti, something like that. Mm -hmm. And rice. Zucchini noodles, so I can't say zucchini noodles, y'all. Oh no, I was like, yeah, like some kind of noodles, yeah. I wasn't disagreeing. <laughs> <laughs> Said, where do you get the color ideas? So beautiful. I'm copying Jamie, man. Jamie was up early this rise. She got before me. She got to it before me. I'm so like, when I saw her, she already had this beautiful dress on. So I was like, you know what? I'm cool. <laughs> I can work with that. Right. When you go through my closet, you know. And I'm like, it's so bright and beautiful out here. I think I want to brighten up the day as well. I didn't want to wear any black, anything dark. <laughs>